Hey y'all, welcome to the country where it's just another day in paradise. Let's see what's going on. Hey y'all, welcome to the country. I'm Susan from Susan's Country Living. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I just have all sorts of random things that I will post videos about, about uh, just living life out in a little country town and cooking and gardening and chickens and canning and um, bees rendering beeswax and all sorts of different things. So uh, if there's your first time here and you like what you see, just hit the subscribe button below and uh, the notifications. And when I post videos, um, you'll be one of the first ones to get a notification about that. Tonight I'm making waffles for dinner. It's a Sunday night and we have two weeks of school left, so I've got you know two weeks left with my kids, my fifth graders, and um, I just wanted something simple. So this is just a really easy waffle recipe. You don't have to go and buy a mix or anything. It's just a cup of flour, uh, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, fourth teaspoon of salt, and you whisk that together. And I use um, one egg and three tablespoons of um, a vegetable oil and one cup of buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, you can also always uh, make some with regular milk, like a cup of regular milk and a tablespoon of just plain white vinegar. Mix it up, let it set 10-15 minutes and you're ready to go. This is my grandmother's old, old waffle iron. And you can use pretty much any waffle iron. Um, I set mine on high. I don't spray it because I've used it so much um, that it's, it's, it's seasoned really well. And when you fill your waffle iron, um, you don't want it to really overflow. And when you use buttermilk, it makes your batter really thick. So I just but it's about a fourth a cup for these sections, maybe not even that much. Because um, when I put that lid down, it's going to spread out. I'll put some in the center, mainly there. And this recipe makes, this makes these four, um, and I can do uh, two of these. And I put my waffle iron down, and I kind of press to let it spread evenly. If a little bit comes out of the side, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. And um, I'm just gonna let it kind of spread out. And I set mine for five minutes. So I'll set my timer. And you'll usually see steam coming up from your waffle iron when you make a waffle. And um, when that steam um, stops, the waffle is finished. So we're just gonna let this go. And uh, I, I do see a little bit of steam. But I can feel it. I can feel that steam. You can see maybe just a little bit right there coming up. So we're just going to let that cook. We're going to open this up and see how this did. Usually mine will stick there to the top like that, but it comes right off. And I'll usually just kind of leave it sitting here crisscross while I wait for whoever's going to come in and get it. So these waffles will fit down in a um, toaster. Heat up really well. You can put them in a toaster oven. Um, you can wrap them in foil and do it if you don't want them to get really crispy. These, I like mine crispy. It's a great pancake recipe. Um, the same ingredients, except instead of three tablespoons of oil, you just use two tablespoons of oil. And it makes great, great pancakes. So I like to put some butter on our waffles husband likes to use 100% maple syrup. Um, sometimes he'll put some of our honey on it. I like to use the blue agave because it has a lower glycemic index. Or if you've got fresh fruit, like I've got some fresh blackberries that I picked this evening from our blackberry patch. You can always just put some fruit on it. These are great if you want to do chicken and waffles. Um, it's a nice big sandwich if you want to make those so um, super easy cheap um, usually you have what's on hand and it's a really great um, accompaniment to bacon and eggs but tonight we're just having waffles so hope you have a great week bye y'all